So over here we are given n pieces of jewelry from ranging from 1 through n and there are x number of boxes ranging from 1 through x and each uh, jewelry uh, is associated with a size and a value and uh, yeah and each box also has a value which is attached to it that is uh, z of j whose size is at most z of j uh, and it cannot hold two or more values. So basically, we have to uh, fit the jewelries inside the boxes. And then uh, there is one another complication in the problem where they have given Q queries and uh, we cannot put the jewelry into boxes ranging from A and B. For example, if you are giving, given boxes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and uh, A and B are given us 2 and 4. So in that scenario, 2, 3 and 4 including A and B boxes are unavailable to be used for uh, putting the jewelry. Okay, so first, uh, how would we go about approaching this problem? So at first glance, it might seem that since we need to uh, find the maximum number of uh, jewelry which we can put, uh, maximum value of jewelry which the thief can get away with in the boxes, uh, this at first glance seems to be a dynamic programming problem but in actuality we just need to maximize the value of the juice which we are collecting right so uh, for example if we are uh, running with a box of uh, maybe value 100 and uh, then we, uh, another box is of value 50 so we should always uh, try to uh, steal a jewel which has higher value than that of jewel 50 right so if we arrange the values which have which we have which have been given to us we would uh, first try to you know find a suitable box for the jewel which has the highest value and move to the uh, jewels which have lower value for example over here we have 30 and after that we have 30 again okay so first we would uh, try to find the appropriate box for the jewel size uh, of value 100 for example if the size of this uh, jewel is 5 and uh, we have jewel something like 1 uh, 3 5 and 9 okay so uh, over here we would obviously try to fit this jewel in box number 5 that means uh, a box which we it can uh, which can fit this jewel for example we cannot fit this 5 size jewel inside uh, box number 3 and similarly if we try to fit it in a box which is of greater size uh, much greater size than its actual size so in that scenario if some other box has like 50 and uh, requires size 9 so in that scenario uh, this box would become useless so we have to pr uh, find a box whose size is greater than the uh, size of the jewel and as small as possible so over here if uh, yeah, over here we would pick a 5 for this and 9 for this. So uh, what would be the most appropriate data structure in order to solve this problem? Yeah, so at uh, the most simplest data structure which we can go ahead with is for uh, multiset. Okay, multiset allows us a couple of functionalities which are very advantageous to us. One is that it allows for binary search, right? If you observe the over here, the, this is the size of the boxes and this is the size of the jewels and this is the value of the jewels right so over here we are first trying to find what is the appropriate box for uh, the a particular jewel that means we are performing binary search so uh, binary search can easily be done with the help of a uh, multi set and it can allow also allows to you know uh, store the values uh, in a pair okay so first let's look at the code and try to understand the concept further okay so over here we have n which is basically the number of jewels x which is number of boxes and q is the uh, number of queries which we are going to be given here okay uh yeah so first we are going to accept the n x and q and we are form going to form a vector pair that means uh, we need to form a pair for each and every jewel first would be obviously be the uh, size of the jewel and then would be the value of the jewel right so after we have accepted those values and pushed it back into the vector we are going to sort it right because we want to basically fit a jewel which is of higher value first and then the rest of the jewels so we are going to sort it in reverse order that means in a uh, descending order so that is why we have started from R begin over here. Cool. So next vector we have defined for box X and accepted the vector for boxes. Okay. So this is the vector of the size of the boxes which we are going to accept. 
Okay. After that, what we need to do is we need to accept the values for A and B. A and B, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a slight complication in the uh, question in which they have basically given uh, a set of boxes which have been rendered to be useless. So, for example, if the value of A is 1 and B is 2, so uh, both these boxes and any boxes in between have become, re have become rendered useless. Okay, so we cannot use them and we cannot add them inside the uh, multi. Okay, so yeah, so we accept the value of A and B next and then we add uh, create the multi set and we run through a for loop and if a value is less than a that means if uh, values which are less than a we are inserting into multi set and values which are less than greater than uh, b we are inserting into the multi set to in order to like completely avoid uh, putting a uh, values in a multi set in the first place okay now what we need to do is um, we are trying to find the answer that means uh, what is the total value of the jewelry which we can get away with okay so first we'll run through the entire vector which we have created over here of size n right and then first we'll uh, obviously create an iterator of type auto and find the lower bound of the uh, second uh, piece of pair for example second piece of pair is obviously the value so we are trying to find using the multi set we are trying to find the lower bound value uh, for example if we have a size of a bag is 5 and the nearest greater greatest value is 7 so we need to find that right so we are basically supplying this 5 value to our uh, uh, function which is lower bound or to the multi set and through the multi set which stores this value of the boxes we are iterating through it or uh, iterating through it and if we find that particular value we are storing it inside the iterator and if the iterator is not equal to ms.n so why is that we are checking ms.n so ms.n we are checking it in case uh, we f don't find a box appropriate box to uh, uh, save the jewelry for example if a jewelry is of size 1000 and uh, the biggest box which we have is of size 10 so in that scenario uh, we do not want to you know uh, uh, add these this va uh, valued box in the uh, add this valued jewelry in the uh, to final answer so that is why we have put this condition and if it is not equal then we are adding it into the answer and then we are erasing that particular uh, box from the multi set because we have already consumed that box and we cannot use it twice and finally after iterating through all the uh, possible packages uh, then uh, all the possible uh, jewelry uh, in, and putting them inside the particular boxes uh, we are finally outputting the answer so this was the solution for thief logistics which was pretty simple